Uh, I did a video last week about ExpressLRS 2.0. Actually, I think I did the video yesterday about ExpressLRS 2.0 and so many of the cool new features in ExpressLRS 2.0. And Blunty, one of them was that you can flash your receiver and your module over Wi-Fi. And I reached out to you and I said, Blunty, if you can flash it over Wi-Fi, why can't you use Betaflight Configurator over Wi-Fi? Yeah. Yeah. And it turns out that, uh, that you were psychically reading the mind of <laughs> Alessandro uh, and Captain Bry, uh -huh. uh, who are working on this project. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, man. So basically, this is exactly what you would expect is kind of the evolution, which is that now you just power on your quad, mm -hmm. your RX goes into Wi-Fi mode, and, and you, you can, can see, connect to it. In you can see flight. here, yeah, the configurator is pointing to an IP address instead of to a COM port, right? So your Wi-Fi, so your receiver gets on your Wi-Fi network using credentials you put into it. Betaflight finds it, and then you just configure over Wi-Fi. Sure, why not? It's pretty badass. It's pretty badass. It's, it's pretty badass, man. Yeah, that's a little slow, I think, in the image, but they're working on it's obviously beta right now. They're working on the yeah. speeds and stuff. And this is exciting to me because, uh, yeah, uh, the idea that I'm at home and I don't have to plug USB into my quad, but I still have to like power my quad up somehow. So like maybe that isn't as useful. I think about it more like for everybody who has a speedy bee adapter, right? Yeah. Or everybody who has Wi-Fi on their diatone uh, or their, their diatone flight controller and they use their phone's Wi-Fi to configure their quad. Well, if you, if you have Express LRS, every single quad that you've got will be configurable over Wi-Fi from your phone with the SpeedyB app or something like it, presumably. Yeah. That's so, so cool. Yeah. And such a it's great... Just another, it's another one of those things that's just like, why, why doesn't every, you know, why don't, why don't they all do this? You know? Well, they, cool. they don't, I mean, do Crossfire receivers have Wi-Fi built in? I don't think they do. Uh, I don't think so, actually. You're right. Yeah. So I think what's happened here is this is an un unexpected benefit of the chip shortage because the chip shortage pushed everybody to the EP processor. And the EP processor uh, has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. And then the devs just went, oh, what else could we do with this? And in fact, that's why I, the minute I thought to myself, you know, you could just go Wi-Fi to the receiver and then the receiver could use MSP to the flight controller. And that would totally work. I thought, I guarantee you they're already doing this because it's so freaking obvious. And sure enough, they were. It's amazing. Yeah. So Express killer LRS. After killer feature. Killer feature after killer feature. These guys are just so, they're killing it. And, you know, like, I mean, does, go, do, does anybody else have Wi-Fi aboard? Can like, can TBS or Immersion RC just like snap their fingers and make this happen? I don't think, I don't think they can. Not without a hardware reason. TBS runs PIC32. So as far as I know, no. Because they don't have Wi-Fi on their any of their uh, RXs. I don't know about Ghost, though. Yeah. Not sure. Very, very interesting stuff. Cool stuff. Um, Espresso LRS is awesome. All right. All yeah. right. Uh, well, be that as it may. Um, I'm sure you'll hear more about uh, some of that stuff pretty soon. Because they're not stopping there. There's going to be more... Fun stuff going on with Wi-Fi and Express. Lab. I mean, eventually they have to run out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> eventually. Quick, Quick Flash says MSP is a pain in the ass, though. It'd be nice if they came out with a re replacement. That's, I mean, MSP is yeah. so ingrained. So yeah. many things use MSP. DJI, uh, Canvas Mode with, with HD0, the Configurator. I, everybody I know who works on Betaflight and, and KISS and so forth sort of is annoyed with MSP. But at the same time, it's so ingrained, you, you kind of can't get rid of it, I think. But what do I know? I'm not a dev. Dominic Clifton yeah. also agrees. MSP must die. Dominic Clifton, what are the, you were, you've been around for a long time. What are the chances of MSP actually being replaced, though? I think Canvas Mode isn't MSP. Oh, that's interesting. Canvas Mode doesn't use MSP? It's I don't know. Different. I know there's MSP DisplayPort, but maybe Canvas is different than MSP DisplayPort. Oh, my bad. I didn't realize that. I thought it I still know. used MSP behind the scenes. 